A Ukrainian drone struck a radar system in Russia's Orenburg region, more than 1,100 miles from the border with Ukraine, the most far-reaching drone attack on a Russian target during the war so far. The Ukrainian drone attacked a Russian early warning Voronezh M radar in the city of Orsk in Orenburg. The radars provide long distance monitoring of aircraft and ballistic missiles and are crucial to Russia's missile defense strategy. A Ukrainian drone has covered a distance of more than 1,800 kilometers to the enemy's facility, setting a record for the range of destruction for kamikaze drones. A source in the Defense Intelligence of Ukraine DIU, told news outlet Ukrinska Pravda on Monday, adding that the outcome of the strike is still being assessed. Drones, or unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs, have played a crucial role in the war. Mikhailo Fedorov, who is Ukraine's Vice Prime Minister for Innovation and Education, Science and Technology, as well as the Digital Transformation Minister, has helmed Ukraine's drone program since the beginning of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine. Prior to this most recent attack, Kyiv intelligence sources said on May 9 that Ukraine was behind a drone attack on Russia's Gazprom Neftekim Selavat oil refinery in Russia's Republic of Bashkortostan, nearly 1,000 miles from the border. According to the source of Ukrainska Pravda, it was a security service drone that established a record by traveling 1,500 kilometers, 930 miles, the publication reported. Ukraine's security service also said it was behind a drone attack on a Russian oil refinery in the Republic of Tatarstan, which is located some 800 miles from the border with Ukraine. On Sunday, drones were spotted over the Orenburg region. Local media reported that one drone fell 30 kilometers 18 miles from Orsk. A previous drone strike by Ukraine on May 23 in Russia's southern Krasnodar region damaged a radar station that housed two Voronezh systems, US-funded media outlet Radio Free Europe, Radio Liberty's RFERL Russian service reported. At the time, Norwegian military analyst Thord R. Iverson said on X, formerly Twitter, Attacking this kind of target isn't a particularly good idea. It is in everyone's best interest that Russia's ballistic missile warning system works well, especially in times of tension, he wrote. Then there's the issue of convincing the West, most importantly, the White House, to lift the restrictions on hitting Russia proper. There's a boatload of targets to go after, with UAVs inside Russia, only a handful one should avoid, and this was one of the latter, he added. Ukrainian drones have struck another oil depot on Russian territory, according to a local official. Two drones crashed into the facility in the town of Livni in Russia's western Oriol region, about 200 miles from the border with Ukraine, regional governor Andrei Klitschkov said on his Telegram channel on Monday. Videos circulating on social media show a huge blaze in occupied Ukraine after a reported attack by Kyiv's forces using U.S.-supplied missiles. Russian war correspondent Yuri Kotenok said Tuesday that there was a massive fire after an explosion on the outskirts of the city of Luhansk. 
He said on his Telegram channel that his sources say the attack was carried out by Ukraine using either ATACMS ballistic missiles or HIMARSM-142 high-mobility artillery rocket system. The incident comes as Moscow's forces push to make significant gains in eastern Ukraine. Russian President Vladimir Putin is looking to seize swaths of Ukrainian territory before more military aid from Kyiv's allies arrives. The Luhansk and Donetsk regions, which comprise the Donbas area, are suffering constant shelling. The U.S. recently secretly sent Ukraine Army Tactical Missile Systems ATACMS, capable of hitting targets nearly 200 miles away. The U.S. has also supplied Ukraine with at least 39 HIMARS since Russia's full-scale invasion. The The attack was also reported by the Kremlin-appointed Russian Foreign Ministry's ambassador-at-large for occupied Luhansk, Rodion Moroshnik. Artem Lysohor, the Ukrainian head of the Luhansk region's administration, said on Tuesday that the explosions took place in the vicinity of a former aviation school, the Luhansk Higher Military Aviation School of Navigators, and an aircraft repair plant, which is located nearby. Russia has been stationing its troops and equipment including helicopters, in the area since the start of the full-scale invasion of Ukraine, Ukrainian media reported. 